So right now I can spread the rest, right? Oh yeah, you can spread the rest. So as you guys can hear and see, I am conducting a live virtual wig making class with my student. This is where we pretty much go over all of the steps needed and necessary to take in constructing a full glueless wig on the sewing machine. I do accept classes um, monthly on a monthly basis and it's based on availability and my students um, schedule as well so i'll definitely leave a link if anyone is interested in learning how to make a wig in the comfort of your own home firm but don't don't push in because we're working with bleach and you don't want it to seep through too much onto the hair hey y'all okay so i just got my new mannequin head i got it from lady m mannequin she's packed uh, very well. I wanted her because she had Afrocentric features, like the full lips, the nose, and everything. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Oh, oh, look at those lips. Look at how she looks with this wig on. She looks like a freaking doll. I'm thinking about putting lashes like I'm gonna line the bottom lash line and put individual lashes at the bottom and then I'm gonna give her some lashes at the top So today we are doing a small unboxing, a small inventory unboxing for a few of the orders that I received this past weekend. So I have a few closures for closure replacement services on the wigs that I provide. And I also have a few wig orders that I want to go ahead and repackage, take it from wholesale, like straight from my vendor to retail to, you know, from my brand and everything with my logo and all that jazz. I'm going to show you all really quickly what I like to do. One of the first things that I want to do is replace the plastic bag that my wholesale factory likes to send the wigs and i replace that with a bag um that is unbranded i'm going to put my own logo on these bags i get them in short and long for um you know the shorter wigs can go in one bag and the longer wigs can go in the other bag i also have these numbers that i printed out on avery paper and i have these logo stickers here that i could just place on the bag and have it look like this I just wanted to come in and kind of just share with you all what I do behind the scenes of running my wig business. I like to find different ways to um, kind of brand my packaging when it comes down to fulfilling orders and things like that. So I just wanted to bring you on in onto this side of what I do. Now with my wig vendors, they like to send my wigs like this, where they're just in plastic baggies like this and this is not cute at all so i like to kind of go in and revamp this whole shindig just to kind of give my clients and customers a nice overall quality experience when they order from me so let's go ahead and get started i am going to package up two orders here and show you guys how i um typically package and send out other types of orders that i get through my business Okay, so my brand colors are black, white, and gold. I like to use Bub Mellers in those colors just to kind of differentiate each order that I get. When I use my black bubble millers, these are just regular orders. They're not uh, customized. They're either not customized or custom colored, but they're from my vendor, my factory, my brand. When I use white bubble millers, these wigs are not from my vendor. They're not from my brand. They're from either my client's vendor because um, I do accept orders where the client can send in their own wigs and things like that. So any wigs I package in a white bubble miller clearly indicates that it's not from my brand. It's not a wig that's provided from me. A lot of the wigs that are on the clearance section or the wig closet section are wigs that I order from other companies, other hair wig companies, or their wigs that were sent to me for promotional reasons. Yeah, so that's what the white bubble millers indicate. And then I have these gold bubble millers and this pretty much indicates that the hair was custom colored 
or the hair costs a little bit more um, compared to all my other orders. I put insurance, made sure that the signature authorization is on there. The um, payment authorization form was filled out. Everything is for this order. So um, that's why I like to use the gold ones on the pricier wigs, pricier services, and things like that. So this wig my vendor sent is a four x four closure wig, 200% density size, Cap is a small 14 inches and it's straight. I made my own wig tags on Vistaprint. This is how it looks. I'm going to fill in the information. It says 14 inches, so 14 inches. Cap size is a small. Grab my little hole puncher because these are like business cards, so they didn't come with um, holes already in them. Get this tagging done. I'm going to put it in the lace. I won't be reusing the bag that my vendor sent. I won't be using this one. At these bags from my wig vendor. These are like Ziploc bags, right? <laughs> I just wanted bags made for wigs, so I asked that they send me some. I'm going to brand the bag with my logo. These are bundle wraps. I don't need these wraps anymore for bundles, but I did see that I could still get some use out of them. Putting them on the back like that. And then I have some number stickers. You could print these out yourself using printing paper from Avery. Bam. And now we just repackage the wig, but now in the branded <laughs> way. I'm gonna get some Victoria's Secret perfume and spray it on the tissue paper just so that it's a nice scent, a pleasant scent um, for when my customer opens up her package. I'll kind of groom it a little bit. And now, bam, wrap it up. I have bigger bags for longer wigs, but this is a 14 inch unit and it just fits right on in like so. Okay, so I have the order here for a glueless straight four x four 14 inch closure wig in a size small. I typically write on the back of these thank you cards if I have time to do so. <laughs> So on the envelope, I'm just gonna write their name. The thank you card goes in. I also have a hair care card that's going to go in as well. Her order's invoice is gonna go in. I'm also going to include a coupon and a business card. All of these things I've designed on Vistaprint. No, I designed on Canva and I got printed through Vistaprint. And then I'm going to go in with a thank you for your order. Black and gold sticker. I got these off of, um, these were off of Amazon. And so there we have it. So I did go the extra mile and I actually got some satin bags for my wigs. This was through my wig vendor. But you can go on Alibaba, AliExpress, and you can find factories and vendors on there who custom make satin bags. I ordered a whole bunch of adjustable elastic bands. I am going to put the adjustable elastic band in here. A wig cap. Got this through my wig vendor. My wig vendor did pretty much everything for me. <laughs> and then we have some lashes. Gonna put that in here. Got a gold lash tweezer here. Throwing that in there. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, I wanted to include some products. 
you guys see black and gold. <laughs> I try to keep um, everything on brand. Yeah, just a sample of some products that I like to use on um, the hair itself. And yeah. Okay, now when the wig is not from my brand, meaning it's probably a wig closet sale or a clearance wig, I don't do all this. <laughs> like for example, this is a wig from IC Hair. As you can see, the lace is already cut. Um, the knots are already bleached and stuff like that. It came with a band. If I used any spray, gel, or any type of adhesive on the lace, I would clean that off before I put it up for sale on my wig closet. And I make sure that the hair is washed and styled um, as, as the picture. I like to include whatever came with my order. I'm going to stuff it like how it came. So my order came with a pamphlet. There's a bonnet. There's a sleep mask a melt band, and lashes. So I'm including everything with this order. This usually goes on first. But... So that's this order. Just got a product order, so I'm gonna just pack it with you guys and show you guys what I do. I want the company to be super and extra careful with this. I have melt band. Two of the sprays are right here. Then we have the lace gel and the blending brush. And what I started doing with every um, lace gel order, I'm including like mini spatulas just so that um, my customer is able to spread the gel without the use of their fingers. I include about, about 10 of them. Okay, so that is pretty much how I like to package the orders that I ship. And I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you did. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down below in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.